What's going on, everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203, bringing you the bugbear. First bugbear done on this channel. This is actually, if we're going to be technical, this is going to be a, a bugbear chieftain. Uh, this is Zerg, the bugbear, uh, the bugbear chief. Uh, I got him off of Etsy, and I'll plug the shop in uh, the description of the video in case you want to go and grab one of these models. Very awesome model. Um, I glued him down to a table stand uh, just to make it easier for me to um, kind of handle. But he's got a lot of cool stuff going on, a lot of cool gadgets and gizmos. Um, awesome sword. He's got kind of the Wolverine, uh, Wolverine thing going for him here um, with the with the uh, gauntlet. And he does have some effects on his. Uh, on his belt, such as, uh, looks like he's got like a, he's rocking like a wolf pelt or something like that. So we'll have some fun with um, bringing all of his cool little items up to speed too. Might take a little while, even though it is a small model, because there are so many little intricate parts to him. But before we get started, just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I'm putting out there in my quest to paint the manual. And let's get started. We're gonna start off with a base coat on the flesh of the aptly named Bugbear Brown from the Army Painter. Now to delineate between the flesh and the fur, gonna be base coating the fur on his shoulders and head in heavy sienna. To provide depth on the flesh, I'm going in here with a shade of heavy red and heavy sienna, very lightly, very diluted, and focusing on the deepest portions of the flesh, such as the delve of the muscles um, underneath the curve of the pectorals and anything kind of in shadow. Now to emphasize contrast, I'm going to be adding a highlight of Bugbear Brown and Heavy Skin Tone, about 50-50 mixed. Using an overbrush of heavy brown, I'm providing the first highlights on the fur. In an overbrush, I have my brush partially loaded with heavy brown, and I'm just kind of grazing the raised areas with 
my brush. Think of it as almost a wet, dry brush. Using the same technique on his face with khaki, you notice that bugbears do have a lighter skin tone on the facial areas than they do on their uh, fur and flesh, so I'll be using khaki to provide a nice contrast there. Base coating the eyes in a bit of sun yellow. And basing the teeth in Mornfang brown. Some ruddy skin for the tongue. Now for the wolf pelt that he's wearing around his waist, one of the main features of his uh, accessories, I'll be base coating this in lich skin. And you'll also see me throughout the model uh, basing all the fur in lich skin. He's got fur on his shoulders, pretty much underneath all of his, all of his uh, pads. So his shoulder pads, his, um, his ankle pads and, and all that. So lich skin for all of it. Now I'll be providing the first highlights on the wolf pelt with an overbrush of bone white. Similar technique to the fur on his shoulders and face. Now with some very diluted desert yellow, I'll be providing some tones to the wolf pelt. I really wanna make it look aged, weathered, like it's been through some wear and tear. Now grazing over the whole pelt with a dry brush of dead white. Try and kind of blend everything together a little bit. finding all of his leather straps with heavy sienna. He is wearing a couple skulls on his person, and so to base coat those, I'll be using khaki. Quick highlight on the skull here with some bone white. Little overbrush on the arm straps here with some leather brown. Starting to base coat the metal he's wearing with some heavy gray. Going to be adding some white to the heavy gray to provide a source of light. A little heavy sienna for the leather bits uh, between the shoulder pauldrons, metal, and the horns. Some khaki for the horns strapped to his shoulder pauldron. A quick dry brush of those horns with some bone white. For the clasps holding down the horns on his shoulder, I'll be base coating those in Mornfang Brown.
providing some contrast here with a bit of sun yellow on the upper curves of the clasps. Adding some white to the sun yellow, I'll be emphasizing the reflection of light even more. And scraping the rope straps with an overbrush of khaki. And you know I love my merfolk turquoise glaze for steel. Giving a highlight to the fur under his shoulder pad with an overbrush of stonewall gray. Gonna base the ram horns surrounding the hilt of his sword in heavy sienna. I'm gonna go with some khaki on the skull of the sword as well. Stippling some heavy gray on the flat part of the blade. And with a base coat of heavy blue, gray, and black, I'll be applying the first coat to the sharp edge of the blade. Now with some pure heavy blue gray, I will be highlighting a couple of areas along the blade here to kind of split up the shine and create some contrast. Now adding some white to the heavy blue gray, I'll be applying the max highlight to the curved edge. and cap it all off with a glaze of merfolk turquoise. An overbrush of khaki to highlight the ram's horns on the hilt. A bone white highlight for the skull. A Morn Fang brown base for the hilt itself, as well as the pommel. Add some sun yellow to the mix for a bit of a mid-tone. And max it out with some pure sun yellow. I'm going to put some lich skin all over the remaining fur. A little heavy gray on the claws coming off of his bracer. Adding some white to that heavy gray for a bit of an edge highlight. And you guessed it, that merfolk turquoise glaze to seal the deal. 
That'll be all for the bugbear. I really hope you enjoyed. Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video, as is information on how to follow Dominic Marriott of Credit UK and Mike Donnarumo of MVD Studios. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.